the Good Friday liturgy is marked with austerity, silence, and reflection. I encourage each of you to find a quiet space for today's liturgy. Today the chancel itself lies bare. There is no music except to accompany the hymns. What was begun earlier in the week continues this day. We have experienced the Last Supper the betrayal, the arrest. All has led us to the cross. Today we feel the total impact of the darkest day in the history of the world, the day Jesus died on the cross. Today we come to worship the crucified Savior at the foot of the cross. We begin in silence. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, and they called together the whole cohort, and they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him, and they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of his purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They even compelled a passer-by who was coming in from the country to carry the cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, the place of a skull, and they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him. Then they divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide which each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with Jesus they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Ha! You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself and come down from that cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others. He cannot even save himself. Let that Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Father in heaven, we so often stand by as others are mocked or belittled, as cruelty and injustice are allowed free reign. We're afraid to speak. We're afraid to act. We stand silent and guilty. Give us the strength to speak out and to witness always to the right and to the truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
reading from the Gospel of Matthew. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani! That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that very moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs were open and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father in heaven, when we cannot find you, and are not even sure if you are there. Give us faith. Help us understand that despite our ways, you are always faithful, always present, holding us and sustaining us. Even in the darkest moments when all seems hopeless and lost and death surrounds us, you are with us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Go in peace. Remember the Lord.